I'm Kevin. And I'm Stacy. When it's super hot outside, the sun is beating down on you and you have no shade. It can ruin your entire camping adventure. And we love camping and being outside, but we also love shade. We love our awning and it gives us great shade at times. But when the sun is shining directly in front of the awning, we have no shade. So we decided to put an awning on the opposite side of our 5x8 cargo trailer conversion camper. Which we affectionately call the rescue wagon. So now we have two awnings and we are very happy. It was really easy to do and we're going to walk you through step by step and show you how to install your own camper awning. Today we're going to put an additional awning on our rescue wagon, which is our 5x8 custom Jeep camper. We've already got one on the other side and we did a video on that, but we didn't do it step by step. Uh, this one's going to be a little more step by step so you can see all the things we do. First thing I'm going to do is clear, clean up this area right up here with alcohol. And just because I'm going to be putting butyl tape in here and I just want to have a fairly clean surface that it can stick to and I use the 91% alcohol which is a little bit more potent and cleans a little better than the, the normal rubbing alcohol. So the next step is we marked where the awning is going to be because I want to make sure that both of my LED lights up here are showing. Put it in between then we mark the end where the metal is so I can run my butyl tape down in between those two marks. So my next step is the roll of goo, better known as butyl tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically not completely snug it up to the top, but uh, bring it down the length and then I push it in as I go across here of the rescue wagon. Mm -hmm. So I measured where I want to put my four screws that will hold it to the top and I made sure that they're not going to interact with any other screws that are already up there. So now what I'm going to do is do a pilot hole and I do the pilot hole just a little smaller than the screw that I'm going to use. So um, this is metal on here and it, it comes through to the back. I don't know if you can see the back there. When I drill through it's going gonna, it's gonna to drill through to uh, where I'm going. So and I'm going to try to get it in the very center here and I'm doing it on the bottom rung. So I went to the local hardware store. All they had was two and a half inch. I think these are going to be long enough uh, self tapping with a hex head. So we're going to try it and uh, hopefully it works. So I'm putting in the last screw. I really like these screws with the, they have a little rubber grommet on them too. And it's worked really well. So uh, I'm gonna put this one, last one in. I did have to do a very small pilot hole for each of them because it was having a hard time pushing this back and forth and whatnot. So to get good leverage on everything and get it in there, um, I needed to have very small pilot hole in there. That, that helped out a lot. Next step is going to be to put some sealant across the top. And I did it with silicone with the last one and it worked pretty good for a while, but then after a while it started to leak. So I'm not sure, I gotta look at the top of that one and this one and see whether I want to use like a silicone or maybe that uh, flex seal that I just got, or if I wanna use like a lap sealant and make it like on, a, on an RV roof and make it a wider seal. So we're gonna look at that and figure that out. So I've decided that I'm gonna use the flex seal on this side and then go back over the other side as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a, a thick bead down right where they meet. And then I'm gonna kind of push it even with my, with my thumb and kind of spread it out. We've completed the awning, another successful project. If you would like to see how the awning works and the different things that we have on the rescue wagon, you can go to our adventure channel, which is Be Free Benson Adventure, and kind of see this stuff as it's actually in action, which is, which is pretty neat. Um, 
you know, having this now on the opposite side will give us twice the shade that we had before. And depending on where the sun is, we'll still have shade. So um, we love to do projects. We love to uh, share them with you. And remember, when you do projects yourself, it allows you to be free. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And we'd love to hear some cool things that you're doing with your camper. So give us a comment below and let us know what you're doing.